Ryan Long returned for his seventh game on Jeopardy. He won a six-day total of $131,801. Who else was surprised to see Ryan? Looks like he took the weekend as an option to buy a new shirt and get a new pair of glasses. I can already imagine how much better he'll play. <laughs> My Alex's instruction was, It's a new week on the show, but for our champion and lifelong Jeopardy fan, Ryan Long. Being here on this stage is starting to feel pretty familiar. So far, Ryan has won six games, secured a spot in the Tournament of Champions, and earned over $131,000. Not bad for someone whose initial goal was simply to make it a final Jeopardy. I'm sure our new challengers, Mari and Jody, are hoping to match Ryan's success. Ryan reveals he learned Korean. This is the second time someone mentioned they learned Korean in the mini anecdotal interviews since Nishan Thayangar. I'm sure if Ken was hosting, he would have introduced the anecdote as, Now I learned the Korean language because I grew up in Korea. What's your excuse for knowing the Korean phonetics? <laughs> Mayim asked, You work for a Korean piano mover and you learned some phrase in Korean, is that right? Ryan answered, uh, I did. Uh, I used to make a surprise amount of residential deliveries, like one time he delivered over over top of a store. Um, by this point, the owner taught me how to say a few things, like how to ask for water, if you're tired at it, you know, and then the word for money, if you need to get paid. So I went down to the store afterward, and I was uh, thirsty, so I asked the lady who we delivered the piano if she'd give me some water, but unfortunately, the words for water and money sound kind of similar if you're not used to speaking it. The audience laughed, so she thought I was trying to rob her. The audience laughed again. Maya ended by telling him she's glad it worked out. Jody got the daily double, risked 1,000, unfortunately answered wrong, and went down to 2,000. How do they train for the anagrams? Those are always the most difficult categories for me. The annulment of Henry VIII's marriage to her came through May 23rd, 1533, four months after they married Anne Boleyn. Jody buzzed and answered, who is Jane Seymour, which is incorrect. Mari buzzed and answered, who is Catherine of Aragon, which is correct. I'm fairly certain this appeared in one of the final Jeopardy rounds Matteo Roche played in. Maybe it was a different Catherine. Also, Queen Elizabeth would have been nearly two months old on May 23rd, 1533. Nobody answered the last question in single Jeopardy. Ryan and Mari were tied in first place at 4,000. Jody was in second place, third place. Let's just say she won 2,200. <laughs> this title vessel welcomed abroad such diverse guests as Cab Calloway, Donna Michi, and Charo. After Mari Buzzard answered, What is a love boat? Mayim said, Yes, I think I watched them all. Actually, if Ken was hosting, I wonder if he would have also mentioned some comment about him being old. Because <laughs> Donna Michi was from the 1930s. And Cab Calloway. I don't know who Charo is. <laughs> Jody got the second daily double in Double Jeopardy. Risk 1,800, unfortunately answered wrong, and went down to 2,000. There's a question that includes the phrase, La Tempista de Mari. Mari but answered, What is the tempest of the seas? So since Maya pronounced Mare as Mari, I thought it was funny to see Mari answering Mari. <laughs> Ryan and Mari were tied again when Mari got the second daily double in Double Jeopardy. She risked 3,500, unfortunately answered wrong, and went down to $10,100. Mari ended double jeopardy winning $13,300. Jody was in second place at $2,000, and Ryan was in the lead at $18,000. The final jeopardy category was medicine. The question was, post this disease syndrome affects many survivors, of which the U.S. is estimated to have 300,000, the vast majority over 65. Now a few people in the comments guessed traumatic as in post-traumatic disease syndrome. Upon first glance, it makes sense. Post and syndrome are in the name and a lot of people over the age of 65 suffer from PTSD. Once you take a closer look, the initialism would be PTDS, not PTSD. Post-traumatic stress disorder is also not a disease, and PTSD affects everyone regardless of age, so the vast majority would be under 65, or would not be over 65. I don't even know what the average age is. 65 years ago would have been still in the 50s, which was just years before the term was officially coined, since it was after the Vietnam War. None of the contestants answered correctly. Mari did answer traumatic stress disorder. She risked $12,100 and went down to $1,200. Ryan risked $4,600, taking him down to $13,400. I just noticed he's still wearing his necklace. He's now at a seven-day total of $145,201. And as always, thank you for watching.